Hey everybody, it is Friday and it is day 11 of video every day April and I'm still here. Yeah, how about that? Nobody expected it, not even me. Um, so I told you guys I wanted to edit video and um, make today super special and then somebody posted something on Facebook that could not be ignored and denied and I thought, you know, if I if I don't do this um, now, I'm going to forget. And that is going to be a shame, just a shame, because um, this news article that somebody posted sparked an idea that I had had before and forgotten, and this needs to be talked about. So the topic of the day is, like, best pickup line you've ever received and this reminded me of the best one I ever received so I'm going to give you a little bit about the article and then um, I think I'll give you a little bit of a softball of uh, the second best and then I will tell you the best one so the news article is about a guy in North Carolina who apparently tried or attempted or at least part way sucked a woman's toes in a Walmart and so he got arrested. He's now got 60 days in jail. Um, he told the victim he was a podiatry student and asked her to try out shoes for him in the shoe department of the Walmart. And then he eventually stuck the woman's foot in his mouth and sucked on her toes and then offered to pay for her groceries, which she seemed a little bit outraged. How amazing is that? <laughs> because that will take care of it. So... <laughs> This is just hilarious. I'm like, some people have some serious issues. So the uh, the second place winner for me, I was at, um, at a friend's place and our dogs, uh, we'd both recently gotten dogs, so we had our dogs have a little bit of a play date. And afterwards, I was going to drive home and that was over an hour. Well, it was actually probably... No, because I was living out by the lakeshore at that time. Um, it was probably closer to two hours. It was at least an hour and a half, hour and 45 probably to get to my house. So I stopped at a Taco Bell, and all I ordered was a bean burrito because I figured I could eat that driving, and a water. And uh, so I get up to the drive through window, and it was it was a urban Taco Bell, I will say. And uh, the guy's like, hands me this giant bucket of pop, which I'm in Michigan, so it's pop here. So I don't know if you call it soda or Coke where you are. It's pop here. And so it was like a Sierra Mist or something. And he's like, I got you a pop because I thought you sounded hot. Now, I have a cold right now, but there is no point where my voice ever sounds hot. And I admit that I can't sing. I That's just not my talent. That's not my forte. It's never going to be. It can't be done. And so I thought, man, their squawk box must be broken. This thing is deceiving this poor young man. And and that also blessed his heart for him. I mean, and saying he got me a pop, but he, he didn't really get it for me. He worked there. Like, I stole this pop for you that you didn't want because you ordered water. And I was just like, thank you. Cool, man. Thanks, buddy. And that, that was the end of it for me. I didn't pursue any relationship. I know. Can you believe it? And then um, <laughs> the number one winner, which relates to this news story about the guy with the foot fetish. Um, I was at college, and I was a like computer science information systems uh, major. And so I had a discrete math class, and I was up really late studying for all my finals. And then I had to drive to the further away campus because that particular class was downtown where they were building um, a satellite campus that – had um, now it has like a college of uh, engineering and computer science or whatever kind of building but at the time they had a few buildings they had built and this particular class was at one of them and um, so I drove in and I was I was dressed something like today like I got I had like a hoodie on and then I had like um, like track pants right and um, and then because it was a semi-warm day and probably I didn't have a whole lot of clean laundry because I was a college student, um, I was wearing sandals, like um, like soccer sandals. And so I did my final, and then afterwards I had to get gas because I rode on fumes to get in. 
And so there was a, like an admiral station right by the campus. And I pull in and I notice this guy is at this other pump opposite me and he's like staring in my direction, but he's looking like downward. So he's kind of like, like he was craning his neck. And I was like, what is this guy looking at? I could not figure it out. And um, I was like, I thought, like the thought came to mind that he's looking at feet, but I'm like, he better not be looking at feet. That's weird. And he's like, and this, mind you, this is as the campus is being built. So the area was much more urban prior to the campus being there and all the businesses that have kind of flourished in the area now. And so he looks at me, he's like, cannot tell you something and I thought who am I to say no when in Rome and uh, you go right ahead sir you know and so I was like uh, sure and he's like you got some really nice toes <laughs> and I'm like what do you say to this because I certainly didn't know and I said the only thing I could think of which was thanks and and like under his breath, he's like, yeah, I definitely suck those. And I was like, oh, my God. And so I quickly changed the subject to something about a train that was passing by or the weather. Or something. I don't even know. And uh, that gas could not pump fast enough for me. I was like, I need to get out of here. And no, as it turns out, that did not flourish into a relationship either. Can you imagine? Yeah, I I turn down these kind of opportunities. That's why I am a single person, failure at life. So I want to know if you guys have any good pickup lines. I would love to see some video responses to that because there's got to be some good ones out there. And ones that you've legitimately received. I don't want to hear like standard like, you know, it must have hurt when you fell out of heaven. Like I want to hear ones that you legitimately got picked up on where somebody wanted to suck your toes at a gas station. I want that kind of stuff. So um, be sure to leave comments below. If you want to do a video and respond with a video, I would love to see it. Um, but I'd like to hear some good stories. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow on Saturday. And hopefully this weekend I'll get to some of the uh, video stuff that I've recorded, edited. But I had to talk about this one when I saw that news story because it just brought back memories. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.